Angry fast bowler, scary, mouthy, extremely competitive. Whatever it takes to win a game for England. <laughs> Nutter. <laughs> I'm basically someone that walks past that boundary line and I become someone else. Like all the girls say, they just wouldn't want to be not on my team. <laughs> Which is a compliment, I guess. <laughs> I've had a good upbringing. My dad was a minor for 25 years and I'm the youngest of six. My brother was the next one up from me. Um, so I obviously just wanted to be and do everything that he did. So trying to be as good as a lad that's six foot three and, you know, <laughs> a lot bigger and more competitive than you is, is quite a task. I've been playing since I was eight and I was the only girl at school in the Yorkshire, in the Barnsley schools and the Yorkshire League and it was crazy, there was no one around. I really enjoyed and loved playing boys and men's cricket. I think it's what made me as, uh, you know, above the, the rest of the girls. I used to relish playing with the lads and I used to make a few of them cry, which I really enjoyed. I mean, I've been playing for England 13 years. Being a part of that, that change where you slowly started seeing the girls come in, like it, honestly, it was unre it's unrecognisable to the way it was playing in skirts and things like that. Not that long ago, so it's crazy how far we've come. Catherine has been at the top of the game in the, in the world for a number of years and for her to still have that drive, that, that passion and that kind of streak in her that just won't give up is something that inspires the rest of us that you know, are just new on the scene. She keeps evolving, she keeps getting new skills, getting new tricks and um, developing as a cricketer even at her age. She's one that's brilliant to have on your team and great to captain. Some of the injuries she's had over the years, any other person would have given up. They were very, very difficult times and the first time I started getting back problems, you know, I was bowling brilliant and I was loving life. I was young, I was playing for England and I was bowling fast and I played with freedom and, and then that happened and it just smashes you down. I guess obviously being young, it's easier to come back, you've got the rest of your career. The biggest challenge for me was coming back the second time. You don't know what you are anymore, like you've lost your identity, you're in pain constantly and um, you're not doing what you love. I've been a part of the 2009 one myself and we got to that point and we need another kick on in the world, winning the World Cup in 2009 was, was amazing and it just seems to keep going up and I think this tournament is that next step. I've only let it sort of get to me in the last couple of weeks because you know until you get that close you don't really try and take it in as much or else you know it'll be the end of you so um, it is extremely exciting just sorting out tickets to see who's coming to what. Obviously realise all the families come into most matches now so the pressure's really on. <laughs> <laughs>